A proposed warming shelter in Fond du Lac has some people who live in the area and parents concerned. It's because the shelter would be right next to a school on the corner of 2nd and Mar Streets. But the group setting up the shelter says they are making sure that the area is safe for children. Ryan Beats has our balanced coverage tonight. Sarah Brinkley has two young children at St. Mary's Springs Primary School in Fond du Lac. But she became worried when Holy Family Catholic Community proposed a warming shelter at a nearby church. You know, that's part of our job is to take care of those less fortunate. But there's, we just really feel that there's got to be a, a, a better place that's not that close to our kids. Why are parents concerned? Because the proposed homeless shelter in this church would be right next door to a school for preschool through second grade kids. They're really little, very naive, very trusting children. And it just takes once for something to happen and it's just a disaster, you know. Jack Brown is from the Holy Family Catholic Community, which would use St. Joseph Church to help people with no other place to go. The group chose that location because the church is barely used during the week. He said the group partnered with the Solution Center in Fond du Lac, which operates other shelters in the area. The group plans to host a meeting Thursday night to explain to parents the ideas for the shelter. That listening session is to develop that trust between Solution Center, St. Vincent de Paul, and, and the need that's out there and build that trust with the families to understand that we're doing our homework, we're going to create this safe environment for their children. Almost 200 kids go to the school. Sister Judith Schmidt is the president of St. Mary's Springs Academy and believes the community should take a closer look at the proposal. If people want to buy into a project, they themselves need to have information and, uh, um, and that that's truly why we need time to think this through. Despite requests to take a longer look at the proposed shelter, the group hopes to have the doors open to those in need on December 1st. In Fond du Lac, Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News. Now there are still some steps to take before the shelter can be approved. It has to pass the parish board and the school board first. After that, would have to get permits approved by the Fond du Lac Planning Commission and the City Council. The informational meeting is set for 6.30 on Thursday at St. Joseph Church in Fond du Lac.